What is up guys, we're back in the world of the First Descendant, and recently a few friends and I have been running a pretty awesome farm that has been netting us some pretty solid results when it comes to getting energy activators. I know a lot of players are struggling with getting them right now, and we've been trying our best to find a solid farm, and I think we stumbled across the perfect one. We're getting some pretty solid results on this farm. It's not super tested, but in the little time that we've been farming it, we have been able to get a good amount of energy activators, so I want to show you guys this farm. Your time is very valuable, so let's dive right on into the farm so first things first you need to be on hard mode there's really no reason why you should be farming for anything until you complete the campaign so for those of you who want one just smash out the campaign and get here and then you can start getting this so coming to the infiltration operation terminal we're going to go to the hard mode and from here we're going to be going to vespers and we're looking for this mission here called the shelter so from the shelter what we're looking for is this mission you're going to be looking for the pattern number 79 and this is going to give you the access to a six percent drop chance on the activator blueprint this is also a good spot for ultimate ajax i really like him and then obviously the crystallization catalyst blueprint so if you want to switch up this farm and you want to go for like crystallization catalyst you can do this farm there too and what you're looking for is something like this whenever it comes to like your modifiers looking for a pretty high kill score i don't think you need to go this high i believe about 220 percent was the sweet spot but yeah this is what i would typically go in as as long as it doesn't disable your sprint disable your jump or disable your grappling hook you're pretty fine you can actually get away with not having jump but i don't think you can finish this without your grappling hook so just be mindful of that if you can play with those other modifiers whatever but i do think you need your grappling hook from here you're going to go into this mission and every time you go into this mission you're going to make sure that you refresh the mission and restart it and pretty much farm this out ideally i think you should go in here with a couple of friends because it makes the farm much easier and then you can you know help each other out but you will notice on average it takes us about five minutes and 30 seconds maybe a little bit longer depending on how much we're messing around to pretty much do this dungeon now one important part about this dungeon that you need to know about is the battery section where you have to put the batteries in what you're trying to do in this specific part is trying to get your score to about 15 to 16 thousand that's the spot where it's guaranteed that you will be able to get it so basically you need to just slowly add batteries not add a ton i would like add five at a time just have one of your friends add batteries you know five at a time and they're going to keep spawning enemies and you're going to basically try to finish it around the time you get it at about 15 to 16 just you know to make the farming very efficient and then from there you're going to continue and finish the mission now as you can see for number 79 the link colossus is the hard devourer now if anyone knows anything about the devourer he is like pretty much the lowest hp enemy i think in the entire game so this is like one of the best ways to do it because he's actually one of the easiest to kill with the team i was running with we did it in about two minutes on average so basically it was about 40 minutes of farming which is on average if we're finishing in about five minutes that's about 16 material patterns then we'll face off against colossus that takes us about two minutes so we'll open 10 in the last 20 minutes so in about an hour you can knock out a good portion of those it's not going to be a direct math it's probably going to lean over like an hour hour 20 minutes whatever the case is but ultimately we were able to just pretty much smash this out statistically you should get this in one in 17 i believe it is so you'll be able to get 16 in about 40 minutes so math isn't quite there but it kind of checks out now we we did test this and it's a very very small sample size so just be mindful of that but we did test this for about two hours and in those two hours uh i believe the guys who were doing it for the pure two hours they got two one of us got three and then i came in about an hour into it and i got myself one within the hour of farming it so it does seem like you're gonna get it within the hour i mean the math is checking out if it's one in 17 and we have 16 of them in the 40 minutes that we farm then it kind of makes sense that generally speaking if the math is right you should be able to get one sometimes the math feels a little sussy in the game at least a drop rate so you know no guarantees on that but ultimately this is the method that we're using right now and this is the method we're going to be doing pretty much every week so as you can see now i'm still building my energy activator as well as a crystallization catalyst because we did a little bit of that too and i got myself one of uh, qu quite a few of these i think i got about three of those but yeah that is the farm this is, has been pretty much the best that we've seen thus far farming for crystallization catalyst as well as energy activators overall but yeah, I think this is going to be pretty much the best bet you're going to do to get a energy activator. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you did enjoy the video that was straight to the point and respect your time, consider leaving me a like as well as subscribing to the channel. I'm going to be covering the first descendant for many years to come and I'd uh, love to have you here. Also, I live stream on Twitch every single day. We'd love to have you in the chat. And yeah, just like that, I'll see you guys in the next one very soon.